All right, well, this is Bubsy Pours on Fire. It's the first time I've played it. Um, I'm mostly only interested in because Choice Provisions made it, and it looks like Runner 3. Accolade. Or <laughs> Runner 4. Um, the only stuff I've seen about it is the trailer that was shown. I haven't really... Can't remember if I looked at any reviews. I don't think I did. But yeah, uh, I'm really only interested in it because it looks so much like the runner series that Choice Provisions has made. Uncle Bubsy, Uncle Bubsy! Uh, here you two go with your uncle routine again. You know there's no way we're related, right? It's Foley and Esther. They're on TV. What? That's impossible. Who's their agent? What the? This looks like the worst show ever. I bet it wasn't even a union gig. Oh, shut your whiskers! We're here to warn you, Bubsy! Wiker's <laughs> back and he's trying to capture every animal in the universe for some sort of zoo. We have to stop him! <laughs> oh, I see what this is. No, no, no. There's no need to explain. You're saying you need old Bubsy to once again take down Oinker. You know I don't lift a paw for anything less than a thousand yarn balls, right? It is you who needs us, Bubsy. Oinker is more powerful than you could ever imagine. He once crushed a soda can with his bare hands. Wait a minute. Didn't I leave him trapped in a jail cell in space? He's got to be mad at me. <laughs> He's mad at me, isn't he? Doubtful. He never mentioned you. You're not exactly memorable. <laughs> He's probably too afraid to so much as utter my name. Can't say I blame him. It's a name as feared by evildoers as it is beloved by casting directors. He's a non-speaking extra in one made-for-TV movie, and all of a sudden he thinks he's king of the world. <clears throat> Bubsy, we've asked our best soldier to help you. Try to stay out of her way. Uncle Bubsy! Uncle Bubsy! Oh, for the love of it. Will you drop the uncle stuff already? What? We never been married! <laughs> Look what we picked up at the flea market! They're called... El Gatos Zapatos! El Gatos Zapatos, huh? They're pretty gaudy. I love them! These are... Amazing! I haven't felt this young since Bubsy won! I'm about ready to upgrade you two from insufferable to almost sufferable. This all sounds pretty dangerous, Bubsy. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> Am I ready? Arnold, I was born to ready. Good luck, Bubsy. Luck? I don't know the meaning of the word. I'm a hero, not a walking dictionary. I wasn't expecting that to be such a story to it or introduction, because the runner games definitely don't have that. Some options. Let me turn that down a bit. Um, the only Bubsy game I have played is Bubsy 2 on the Super NES a long time ago. Um, there was that other Bubsy game that came out sometime in the last few years, I can't remember when or what it was called. Um, 1-1 one, one, Murphy's Poor, okay, well, let's see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, okay, he jumps a long way. A lot higher than Commander Video. Mood glides down.
Why is Pounce? Uh, okay, that's kind of like the kick in Runner. Oh, missed one. So you can press down. Oh. Supposed to just jump over that? Okay, didn't quite do that right. So jump, dash, jump again. Interesting. It feels different to Runner, just with the changes in how it jumps. And it's got that pounce ability, which kind of goes forward quickly. Um, so it definitely doesn't feel exactly like Runner. Collect the victory tokens to unlock the levels and defeat Oinka. Who are those other characters supposed to be? Extras. What? How do I not have enough tokens? Okay, so got one victory token. Do I just have to do this one again? Was that saying I have to play the same stage as different characters? What could possibly go wrong? It's 
The jumping definitely feels really different. Not sure what those squares up in the top right corner mean. They kind of light up. Or is that kind of a oh. kind of a combo thing? The biggest part is just trying to get used to the different kind of visual language compared to runner and uh, getting used to the different distances to expect how long it takes for him to react, how far it's going to jump. Because um, to jump on those I don't have to press anything except for the first one. Oops. Okay, so I do just have to play as a different character now, the same stage. Is it going to be different at all? A Nobel Police Prize is as good as mine. Oh, so. Oh. Let's get a double jump. Oops, jump should be too soon. So this guy actually feels more like Commander Video. Oh. Which is actually bad because when it's all about precision platforming, you want to be getting used to exactly how to control one character not um, getting confused with a few different characters. Oh, and he can dock. there's something wrong with the controls or if I'm just pressing it too late.
Didn't quite get to the S in bonus. So this is almost like bit trip bait. How am I supposed to get three of them? Like that, I suppose. Almost ran into that. Uh, probably should be collecting these things. I didn't know Twitch had Bubsy emotes. I don't use Twitch, as you can tell. Um, so it's kind of interesting that they've got two characters that play basically the same, and then one that is completely different. Um, what is this bonus stage? Oh, okay, it's one of these. Uh, always been bad at these. I'm ready for my close-up. Okay.
wasn't paying attention to see if there's anything down the bottom part, or if that's just if we fall down. Why am I on fire now? Or is that what the title of the game means? Pause on fire. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Pokepel. Hard to tell how the game is so far, seeing as this is only the second stage, but seems alright. Just not as good as Runner. Um, there's <laughs> oh, there's a lot more variety than Runner with the different playable characters on that bonus stage. Um, I think the thing that's going to get me though is. In Runner, because you're only playing as Commander Video, you have to... Well, you don't have to, but because you're only playing the one character, you get really good with that character and know exactly how the physics are going to react and is jumping. But this one, it could be more confusing because you're swapping between characters that handle differently. Um, so this Virgil guy, he handles more like Commander Video in Runner. Uh, we'll run a three because there's a double jump. If my calculations are correct, the level is loading right now. Um, and it doesn't jump so high like Bubsy and um, yeah, this guy definitely feels more like a meta video. Oops. And they can duck. Uh, he doesn't do anything when you press Y, so um, it's meant to double jump then. Um, he doesn't have a kick or anything yet, but more abilities will probably unlock later on. I don't know what those bees are for either. And the bonus is lit up. I wonder if oh, I missed that thing. And so far it definitely seems easier than Runner. But it is only the second stage. At first, I was going to be worried that you have to play through the same stage three different times, or with the three different characters, but it does change up the stage enough that it doesn't. Um, like you're not just doing the exact same thing with three different characters. Um, no rest stop for the next 7,421 miles. I hope I have an empty cup in here.
I'm not sure if there's any... Okay, you move more slowly while you're shooting. And does it matter if I touch... Oh, okay, it does matter. So you can't crash into the ground. Oops. It's not the best thing for the uh, control pad on the Pro Controller. Maybe it's easier with the stick. She moves. Uh, she moves really quickly forward, but slower backward. It's uh, feels kind of weird. Play this one because I missed missed one of the pieces. If my calculations are correct, the level is loading right now. That's the first one. After coming from Bubsy, um, it's easy to forget that this guy has the double jump. And that's what I mean about it getting confusing swapping between two diff two different characters. I right, got it that time. this point of stage. Why? Isn't that unlocked? Did I do this one?
I don't think I like those planar stages very much. Don't know why that one hasn't unlocked. Ah, oh, wait, I haven't done this stage yet. Very quiet loading screen. Any reason these magic shoes didn't come with magic arch support? Oh. Missed that. Let's uh, restart. Why does it have to reload the stage? It should just go back to the start as if you died. Uh, missed it again. I think I jumped too late for that. That didn't go very well. Maybe I should press down when I'm right above those things. Oh no. At least it's the end. Okay. I 
think before I finish this stream, I will have to play a little bit of Runner 3 just to remind myself how that was. Because I haven't played it for ages. It's kind of distracting when it's all shiny like that. Ah, oh, missed two of them. Instead of claddy with a chance of meatballs. I wonder if if it's expecting me just to collect the uh, yarn balls, or if it wants me to shoot all the enemies as well. Hang on a second. can shoot the TNT things, but is that just for extra points? I'm not sure if there's any real benefit. Oh, I missed one. Missed a few more. Oh no. Why is the music playing twice? That's a weird bug. as many as I thought. It's the tunnel of average minigame.
very 90s minigame like in Sonic and uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, I missed some. Running from my problems has never been easier. I'm what? How was... What was I supposed to do there? Oh, I forgot about the dash. I thought I could dash through that, but maybe not. Just wants me to jump on it. Oh, the dash went too far. I did it again. Pounce, not dash. At least the music is so right. Oh no. Why is why did that happen? Okay, so dash and it goes up a little bit more. Like that. I think I just did the pounce at the wrong time. Oh, I shouldn't have pounced then. It's hard to judge how far he's actually going to go. Um, 
How far is it going to go when you're gliding, I mean? Oh, okay, that's... I thought I was going to die then. In here. Oh, hang on, what was I supposed to do on those things again? I can't remember. Okay, press down while jumping on them. Oops. Jump over that time. Don't know how that happened, but it's hard to get the timing right on those things. So it will jump straight to the next enemy, but won't jump to the platform. It's kind of a cheap shot. doing that. Okay, jump, land on that enemy, jump again. I think it just wants me to press down to get to the ground faster. There's this thing there that I missed. How was I meant to get that? Um, I think I will replay that.
I'm banking in here. That was close. And that was not close. This bit again. Okay, did that bit, except I didn't go down to the ground quick enough. I don't know the timing on that jump. Okay, so... Oh no. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that one. Uh, just jump over it like that, which I kind of did by accident. Oops. That was not the right way to go.
Oh, well, how did I touch that B again? Let's go all the way up. You can't go all the way up to the very top of the screen. It's kind of strange. Come back, I missed it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, except I touched the B, of course. It takes a long time to get through the world when you have to play the stages three times. I suppose you don't have to, but that's what the game wants you to do. Doesn't control very well. Sometimes it goes in different directions than you're expecting. at a good start. Oh no, I missed a thing. And that was before the checkpoint as well, so I'll have to restart. Oh, 
Oh no. I jumped at the wrong time. Ah, oh, so Bubsy is supposed to be the easy here? one? That's what that tip was just suggesting. So I wonder if the game will let you just play through all the stages as Bubsy. Um, Because you have to collect the things to. No, I got it. Um, you have to collect the things to unlock the stages, so. I don't know how the progression really works. doing so well. How did I not land on that? Too early. at that time. the end of that. Um, 20 tokens. 17. Turn. Uh, okay, so if I just play the next few stages as Bubsy, I can get to the uh, get to the bus to see what that's like. Okay, so that didn't line up properly.
Oops. There we go. Oh, that was close. I, um... Didn't do that very well. Oh, that was very close. I pressed the wrong button. This yarn and I No, I missed it. It's too late now. So I have to dash, dash, 
I have to land on that TNT somehow to jump again. Dash into it. Okay, like that. Oh. That didn't work. So jump. Uh, okay, I somehow got through it. Oh, no, I didn't. Press the wrong button again. I don't think I should have made that jump, but I did. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with those widely spaced ones. I've got a good feeling about this. Oh, I missed a lot of those jumps. I think I'll just restart that.
Okay. Was I supposed to trump them? I think it wants me to jump on the enemies. No, I didn't. not sure what I'm supposed to be doing at that point. Which is not good because it should be perfectly clear what you're supposed to do. Um, Okay, I somehow got through that by trying to jump and dash. Okay, so jump, dash, except I missed it. Just wants you to... No. I shouldn't have jumped. Oh no, I missed it. I can't go back.
no. Let's just get to the end of this stage. Oh my god. Yeah, end of the stage, please. Why does it keep jumping over that one and running into the next one?
that I had an unexpected visitor. Just need to get through this stage. So, that stupid thing. Okay, just pounce over the mole and get to the end. Can buy honey at the store. What does that do? Welcome back, Wade. Did you use that line already? Missed that thing again. I'll just have to restart. Oops. Uh, I did the exact same thing again. It's it's confusing when you can dash and when you can jump. Because it kind of feels like you should be able to jump again after you dash, but you can't. Should have pounced through that. Like that. I thought I was going to die then. Okay, jump, pounce, uh, except not into that.
Oh no, I thought I might be able to jump between them, but nope. Uh, why did it jump over? Jump too late, I suppose. Not a UFO base. I think it might be. I missed a lot of them that time. So I'll do the boss, and then I think that'll be enough of this. Or at least try, try the boss. Oh, why is he flying the UFO now? Oh, okay. Okay, so I have to go in front of it while it's doing that. So you can't go all the way to the top. Oh, but I wasn't expecting that. I forgot that it was going to slide along the bottom again.
Okay, now watch out for those things. What did I hit that time? Is it one of those missiles? Turning right on that. So it's gonna do that. And again. Oh no. Those things are really hard to dodge. Hit it again. straight into it. What am I doing? So it's better if you stay close. I'm just gonna do that again. How do I use the death ray? Or is that the his death ray? No, I defeated him. stage of this world just to see what it's like. And then I want to go back to Runner 3 just to see how it compares because I haven't played that for quite a while. The truth is out there. Or is it in here? Yeah, so it hasn't added any hasn't added any new abilities. Or not yet, if there are even going to be other abilities. It's 
different platforms you can jump on. Missed that thing. Except I died. Okay, maybe I should just go under that. No, I just had the jump timing wrong. did everything wrong that time. Oh, jumped over it somehow that time. there just to be annoying, wasn't it? Same thing again. Goodbye, cruel world. Somehow missed that platform. The music's playing twice again. Missed it, but I got to the end. OK, 
Okay, well that's enough Bubsy. I want to go to Runner 3, if I can find that somewhere. Um, where is it? So you can see all my games now, obviously. Um, so Mario Party, Peach Bowl, ah, oh, Runner 3 right there. Um, so Bubsy is kind of weird. It definitely feels like a runner game, but it's going even more in the direction of Runner 3, where the platforming feels even less precise than Runner 1 and 2. Um, this must have been added with the update that I haven't been back to. Today's thrilling episode is brought to you in part by Royal Doyle's Boil Foils for reducing boil oils. So if Bubsy was a runner I'm game. Martinet, and now it's time for Runner 3! Yeah. Uh, if Bubsy was a runner game, I'd say it's the worst in the series. But it does have a lot more variety. It's got the three different playable characters. Well, four if you include the fourth, uh, if you include the bonus stage. It's um, got the like flying ship sections. Uh, which world should I go to? Spooky land. Oops. I need to remember what the controls are. Yeah, the... I can't remember what his name is, but the other character in Bubsy definitely feels a lot more like this. If I can actually play this properly. Probably should have gone to the first world. Why is that not making a distance? But this is what I mean about Runner 3 and Bubsy. Um, feeling less precise because you're uh, not sure exactly what you're doing wrong. Where in Runner 1 and 2, you always know exactly what you did wrong because there's only one thing you could have done. Um, it just. Good thing that was after the checkpoint. Maybe this is on the hard difficulty. This is a lot more intense than Bubsy. 
a lot more button pressing. Probably also because this is on, well, a later stage, and I think it might also be on the high difficulty. Oops. these bits. So I suppose this is kind of like the UFO sections in Bubsy, but in this one you can't shoot. I think that's probably enough of testing this out. Um, yeah, Bubsy is better than I thought, but also kind of weird, which I suppose is expected. Um, so I think that'll be all for now, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.